Hi, I'm not good at lying, and welcome to my video. Today we're going to be playing Puppet for Windows. It's a free indie horror game currently available over on NDDB. It looked like a really interesting game. It doesn't look like it's gotten a lot of attention yet, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to put the description right here. We're going to get started. Alright, let's get to it. Hello! I am a student, and a graduation requirement for my school is to create a senior culminating project. I choose to create a short horror game using the Blender game engine. Each level of this game showcases more knowledge and skill that I have developed while working on this project, which began in May 2013. I released it February 8, 2014. Here's the premise. You wake up, you find yourself to be an old man in some sort of science facility. You don't know who you are, but something else seems to and is playing with you. Explore the floors of the facility, collecting information about yourself, the, in the entity hindering you, and ultimately how to stop it. Enjoy. I hope you guys liked the introduction. It's on NDDB. I'll see you in video. Hi everyone, and welcome to Puppet. I don't see any options. Let's go ahead and get started. Warning! This video game contains audio and visual effects that may cause epileptic episodes among certain users. If you are prone to this, do not play this game. In addition, this is a horror game. If you do not deal well with elements associated with the horror genre, I also do not recommend that you play this game. Enter, let's go. Okay, WASD to move. I'm 5'7". Left mouse to interact. I'm apparently really tall. I mean, 5'7 isn't really tall, but Jesus, look at this. I'm like 900 feet above the ground. It's interesting, though, because I've never seen a game play with an actually high-up perspective. Experimental Horror by Wesley Steepley. Hungry. I cannot walk any faster than this. Which may be a problem. I can either go to Memories or Wake Up. Let's go to Memories. I can't. So let's wake up. All right. Doing good so far. What's that supposed to be? Waking up, apparently. Whoa, was I just sh shot with DNA? Waking will not save you. The nightmare is real, and you and you, you don't remember who you are, do you? Am I right? Master, I will enjoy playing with you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's um, let's just go ahead and start. Floor one, loading. I was watching you sleep. Objective. Collect obje objectives to help you remember who you are and what happened to you. New controls. E. Okay. We got this. We got this. Oh, the mouse comes out of the window. It's well optimized, though. What? Why is there a teddy bear at the door? Where am I? I have to agree with one of the commenters, uh, developer, if you're watching this. Um, you do walk rather slow. And I get that that may be for some sort of dramatic effect, but... Um, especially your sidestepping. Walking sideways is ridiculously slow. There's, no, there's not even a reason to... Why is there a teddy bear here? And why does it look creepy as shit?
Okay. A flashlight. I can use this with right click. Oh, it was flattened. This is a pretty creepy game. What is that? I can kind of see in the dark something over there. What's in here? Oh, it's a library. I was looking for a book. I was not looking for a book. At least I don't think I'm looking for it. What's that? Oh. Yet another plan to th overthrow the government has been foiled by the president. I hate him. A notebook. This is the only intact page. Okay. All right, so we got a notebook. I don't know what we're going to do with that. This is actually a pretty creepy game. I really like the uh, the audio. I want to act to bump it up a little. It's a little quiet, so you guys can hear it. But whoa. It's pretty nice. Yeah, no, uh, the game's got some uh, pretty decent graphics. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I like the way his uh, visual design's going, really. Elevator. I, I generally just like the whole idea of the game, actually. It's not too bad. It's not just exactly like every other game out there. Or every other horror game out there that tried to copy Slenderman. Okay, so I'm assuming the elevator doesn't work. Doesn't look like it. So what's in here? Have I already been in here? Changed the elevator password to... Day, hint, it's my name. Okay. In some kind of server room. Oh my god, the TV's actually playing the background music. Sweet. Exit, cool. Let's go that way. Looks like we're getting out of here, guys. Definitely a pretty creepy game. I don't know if this was this guy's first game. Um, uh, why? I got out! Some nice cinematics and everything. Where were you going? Floor two, let's play a game. I'll be it. Collect five pages that will help you learn about the monster following you. Right. Well, I know for one, for one, it's a freaking teddy bear. Oh my god! Why did that scare me so much? <laughs> Got you. All right. Well, this was puppet. Um. Definitely really cool. I, I really hope this uh, this goes somewhere and um, progresses. But that was actually that was really cool. So um, you guys should definitely check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, let me know if you liked the video in the comments below. Like the video, share it everywhere, subscribe, and I'll see you later.